Lake Powell is epic. It's really hot, so we're excited to be in the water. I look back and I realize that Heather and Brian were not there. They have been lost. We've been here for like an hour. Say hi everyone. Hi. Buddy, Mama and Dada are gonna go somewhere. Yeah. And you're gonna play with Megan. Yay. And have so much fun, huh man? She's gonna take you to the park and the slide and the swim. This is the it's worst so part. I feel like we've had to do this more than I would like lately, but I'm really excited oh for this trip. God. It's gonna be fun. We just don't wanna take Jack. It's it's a ruined family. Lakes are freaky. We're we're just not gonna Take him on the boat. Hi, He's gonna buddy. have fun here. This is where we say Bye. goodbye. Hey Jack, you want mama to read you your book before we put you night night? Yeah. All let's right, let's it. do it. That's a fire truck. What color is it? Red. Good job. A bus. A yellow bus. Dun, dun, dun. Go dun, dun, Jack. Dun, the wheels of a bus Yay. go round and round all through the town. Mm. Can you give mama a big hug? <laughs> The best. It's okay, buddy. More boss. More boss? the worst it's gonna go by fast it's okay we are on the road look who we're with hey there Hello. they are we're on the road <laughs> we're on the road we're on the road again <laughs> in the new tundra this is the crew on the way to lake pal we're gonna meet up with heather and bryant goodman down there and then sarah's brother has some friends as well and sarah's parents are flying down there it's a five and a half hour drive we'll get there probably at like 9 30 tonight load up the boat and we're gonna sleep on the boat tonight, the, the houseboat, and then we'll take off to a spot in the morning. Dax with his nanny. We went and picked her up. That was really sad, saying bye she to him. She made it here. That's the important here. part, because she missed her first <laughs> She did miss the first flight, <laughs> which was kind of sketch, but she got on the second She's one pretty here. easily. We're gonna have fun. Time goes by fast when you have fun, so we're excited. We made it. We made it. We made it. Ryan picked us up. Oh yeah. We're gonna go sleep on the boat right now. We're here! The next day. Hey man, you got the boards? Got the boards. Sick, dude. We just had to go grab some surfboards, had to go get some parking passes, but we're gonna get this back, and then we're headed out on the houseboat. But everyone's there, everyone's waking up, can't go a week without the boards. We made it. Good morning. How'd you sleep? I fell off the bed. You fell off the bed? Yeah. How'd you fall off Good the bed? Good thing our bed's on the ground. Our bed's on the ground, and it's like, how did but you? it's just like a little foot drop. Really? Yeah. We're in the marina at Lake Powell. We're waiting to take the boat out, find a spot. Lake Powell is epic. It's really hot, so we're excited to be in the water. We have departed from the dock. On our way, two hours till we get to the spot, probably. Derek is now captain of the ship. First time driving a houseboat. First time. I saw a houseboat sink here a few weeks ago. <laughs> Derek, you don't want to be that guy. No, no, no. Be careful. We made it on the boat. These guys all just surfed. Heather's first time surfing behind a boat. Woo! She freaking killed freaking it. Freaking got up, first session. We just did our first boat sesh, and now we're gonna do dinner. I just like forget how magical this place is. It's so fun, like you just go out on the boat and then you come back on the houseboat, everyone chills, and it's, it's a good time. We are going through a little slot canyon. Eric's driving us through, so pretty. Okay, so it's getting a little sticky. Derek, you up for this? 
to anybody watching this, we love you. If I die, I had a, I I had a good time. Tell, had a good time. Tell Jack and Jade that we love them. <laughs> I mean, you got it, Derek. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Heather and Brian took a jet ski coming out of the Slot Canyon and Derek and I were on one. I look back and I realize that Heather and Brian were not there. They have been lost. We've been here for like an hour. We see two jet skis that look like it could be them. They're rescued. You guys, that was the most stressful hour. We didn't have service. We didn't know where they were. Found them. There they are. Derek found them. What's happening, Sarah? Going Are there night lights surfing. on on the front of the boat? Are you gonna partake in the night surfing? Well, I might go first. Yeah, the boat has lights on it. We're gonna use my Apple Watch to light up when we fall, but we're gonna do a little night surf sesh. <laughs> The following day. Good morning. Good morning. This was a rough morning. No, it wasn't. Not for Sarah. Sarah had a great morning. That's I had a rough great. morning. They made me watch Stranger Things last night. Maybe. <gasps> Till 1 a.m. Sarah got up and what did you do? I went on a wave runner by myself. She just went for a little joyride by herself. And now we're gonna go out on the boat. She's just surfing. I feel like there's like a 500 pound weight on my face from allergies right now. We get something in the lake water. Morning, we woke up around the same time. This is the person who made me watch it. This one. Just me. Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! oh. <laughs> I deserved that because I hit her with the football. You caught it. You caught it like this. You committed to catching that so hard. What are we doing, Sarah? What are we cooking tonight? Lasagna, French bread, salad. Get to work. All right, all right. Face off. What are the odds I don't split this everywhere? One out of 1,000. They gave Sarah and I the easiest dinner because everyone knows that we're not very good cooks. So we were tasked with making lasagna, frozen lasagna that you put in the oven, French bread and salad. So it was all pre-made, but we did it. Here it is. How hard was that? Super duper hard. <laughs> the next day. The boat broke down. Tried to fix it yesterday. Obviously that didn't work. I think there's just something wrong with the engine. Yesterday, no boat. Today, no boat, but it's honestly, added a new element to the trip. I think if we had the boat working, that we would have just kept doing the same thing every day. But without it working, we've had to be like creative. Yesterday we played pirates in the water on the paddle boards, boys versus girls, and we were trying to take over each other's ships with soaker guns. <laughs> It was so funny. We've been doing like a lot of jumping off the boat. We've been talking, we've been playing games. And right now we're setting up the net to play Sandy Pickle. It's kind of a mix between pickleball and volleyball. We went tubing today behind the jet ski, which was actually, in my opinion, more fun than the boat. It's added this new element of fun. Just trying to be more creative because we don't have this boat. We haven't really been sure what to do today because the boat hasn't been working, so we've gotten real creative. Brian and I are practicing back dives right now, and the girls are playing on this thing. We still know how to have fun without a boat. We don't need it. We're going for a little late night swim. Brian is over here checking the depth on this side because we've been jumping over there, but we want to jump over here. Up we go. Oh, I spy someone. Who could it be? Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. Ah, they're coming to my light. There he goes. Wow. We're gonna hit the top floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. We're not supposed to, so don't tell Sarah's mom. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna go down this slide right now, but I'm gonna not take my phone. Ah, 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 Whoa! 
How many times have you been down the slide now? 30. We did it. We're going home. We're going I'm home. I'm really sad. This is the, like the, always the saddest trip to leave. Always. It is so sad. Like, it's fun because you're just disconnected. You're just all on a boat. There's not really anything else to do. And so you like know what's there in front of you is what you do. Instead of trying to always go look for something. We might come back in a couple of months. We're still trying to decide when we're going to go back to Hawaii. There's a lot we've got to figure out when we get home. So I did mention that something happened the other night. So Sarah and I are going to bed. We watched a scary movie right before. We watched Ouija. Sarah had actually just scared me and made me go up and nail my head on the top of the ceiling. We're about to fall asleep and through the vents I hear like this. You rolled over and you said, Sarah, what are you saying? Yeah. So I was like, Sarah, wait, what? What did you say? And then I heard it again. I was like, eh. All of a sudden, full on sex noises blaring through moaning. the vent, moaning, full on moaning noises. And all of us, you know, there's so many married couples on board. And our rooms are all connected. In like close quarters. Everybody was like kind of waking up. Everyone kind of thought it was another couple. But it lasted a whole night. So we it lasted woke up the a next whole night. morning. Everyone was like, oh, I thought it was this person. I thought it was this person. And then my brother and his boyfriend come in and they're like, it was a joke. It was literally a Bluetooth speaker that they put in the vents. There's a there's like a little nook underneath the boat and they crawled in it and put the speaker with like porno. <laughs> I did not think for a second that it was a prank. She kind of speculated that it was, but yeah, I didn't well, think it was. When I heard it through the vent, I literally instantly thought my brother's playing a joke through the vent. It was and good. Was At first, a lot of people were mad, but then everyone realized that it was a really good joke, and so everyone was like, oh, well done. It was hilarious. Yeah. Honestly. We're going home now. Jack did great, though. He was well uh, taken care of. Yeah, he does not want us to come back. He do like probably doesn't want us to come back. Every He's time we FaceTime him, he gets excited, and then he goes, press it press it which means hang up <laughs> this trip has been epic we're gonna go make the long drive home you feeling good Tears. Tanner? He's, he's feeling he's good. a lot of pain he bit his lip yesterday he has well, some nausea right now well person said let's go tubing and then everybody got hurt who was that? Sarah forced Sarah us all to tube and, <laughs> and then you did it to make pregnant girl and I was she didn't even tube she just loved <laughs> whipping us around just whip Sarah what's happening? I am filling up where are we? Rock, we're at the rock shop that I used to stop at when I was a little kid. Every year we came to Lake Powell and I'd fill up one of these bags and take it home and then I have a collection. So I'm going to make one for Jack. He's learning colors right now. So I'm trying to get all the different colors. Is this, is this just nostalgia for you? Yes, this is very nostalgic. Rocks are pretty cool. I actually would have been so excited. so excited about this as a kid. I actually am really excited right now. Little guy! Zach, do you love them? Yeah. What color is your favorite? Blue. We missed you, bud. Wow. Look at all of the rocks. Can you say thank you, Mama? Wow. Wow. Mama, more? Yeah. Oh, Can this, I is, miss your pants? this is all the rocks we have. Oh. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Can you say night night, Grandpa? Say night night, Grandpa. Night night. Hey, Jack. Can mama give you a kiss? No. Oh. Can dada? No. Jack, if I say please, can I give you a kiss? Please, a hug. Ready? Say please. Ready? Oh. 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 Wow. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Thanks, that's Mama. so sweet, Jack. What color is that one? Blue. Blue. <laughs> Mama. Ma. More? More. Is there another one in there? Yeah. <gasps> Black. Um, Black. I miss him so much. We're here. We made it back. It was so good to see Jack. Every time we leave him, he seems like he's like two months older than when we left him. His feet actually look bigger and he looks like he's taller. He was saying words that I'm like, I haven't heard you say that. It was pretty crazy. It was so sweet seeing him though. Oh, he just was so sweet. gives us all a hug. Yeah. He's just such a sweet boy. He swindled me at that time though, hard. What did he do? He just kept saying, read another story, read another story. I'm just really happy that he had an amazing time with our nanny, too. He, like, yeah. keeps saying, Megan, Megan. It's so cute. Like, that's when you know he just had an awesome time. We need to eat some food. That was an awesome trip. We are so excited to go back there again. I don't know when that's going to be. We're going to try and figure that out. In two days, we literally leave on another trip with my to family. To a lake. To a lake. 
in the Central timing, California guys, the for my family reunion. So we're back at the lake. Jack's coming with us this time. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of our fun videos coming up. Gender reveal is soon. Right around the corner. It so is right around the corner. We are really excited about that. Anyway. Yep. You guys are the best. Love you guys. Bye. Bye bye. bye.